Good afternoon and welcome once again to the alumni special. My name is Dilly McFarlane. I'm the alumni officer here at Mount St. Vincent. And today's subject is Alumni in Action Student Liaison. I'm pleased to welcome today as my guests Sheila Pender Wedge on my far left, Alice McKeegan, and Karen Stone. Now, all three of these are alumni, and uh, with a bit of a different background in each case, uh, Sheila has graduated from the Mount in 1984 with a Bachelor of Arts. Alice McKeegan has a degree in Home Economics and Education in 1983 from the Mount, and Karen is a Public Relations graduate from the class of 1982. Uh, in fact, I think that probably one of the most interesting things about uh, the Karen and Alice as alumni, first of all, they are members of our National Board of Directors. Uh, they fill the committee head of Student Liaison Committee. And as former uh, student union presidents here at the Mount, uh, Karen was president of the student union in, in 1982 and Alice in 1983, I think it's most appropriate that they're filling that spot for us on the alumni board. Um, Alice, will you tell me something? I'm, I'm all, I've been quite interested to know. What is a Home Ec graduate doing in the field of admissions work here at Mount St. Vincent? Okay, I started off with um, admissions two years ago, just after I graduated from the Mount. And I think that a Home Ec degree is such that you're, you're using that degree in your daily lives and, and in a lot of different capacities. And I think that with my education background as well, that it is very conducive to working in the classroom and doing liaison work with the admissions office here at the Mount. I see. Now, how long have you been in the admissions office? I've been there for two years I see. now. This is just my third. All right. So you see third. a lot of our students before, Mount students as, as uh, in, their, in their own high school environments. I travel around within the Maritime provinces and do uh, most of the schools throughout the Maritimes as well as some in Newfoundland and we do go as far as uh, Montreal, Ottawa, Bermuda and some in the New England states. I understand you're going to be heading to Bermuda in the very near future. Yes, the end of October. That's I'll be great. going down and doing uh, four or five schools in Bermuda as well as an alumni reception down there. That's great. I think um, one of our former class presidents, Carrie Moorhead, is helping to uh, organize that alumni reunion. Yes, Gary has really been uh, quite a help. I've been in contact with her a couple of times and she has offered to um, book my schools in and be in touch with the schools and set up my appointments down there as well as assist in organizing the alumni reception and um, finding a place for it and contact with the students down there as alumni as well. That's great. We had a reception there last year. I think it was Mrs. Hartley, Jean Hartley, that attended uh, and Susan Tanner, the admissions officer, attended last year that Carrie yes. helped set up. How many attended that reception, Alice? Approximately 35 or 40 oh, alumni excellent. were were yeah. present for that one. I think we have something in the neighborhood of 70 to 80 alumni uh, in Bermuda, too. So in order to have 35 or 40 turnout, that's quite a good turnout. Uh, certainly it's quite high compared with, with a lot of other areas and the response that you would get. And I think that's partly because it is such a, such a small place and, and there is more of a, a close-knit group down there. I see. Uh, Karen, uh, I was uh, interested to, um, you've just started a new job. Mm -hmm. Where's that? That's correct. It's uh, Corporate Communications Limited, which is a public relations and advertising consultants firm. And my position there is account executive. I see. And before that, I understand that you had uh, been involved in uh, an interesting position with the uh, Canadian Armed Forces. Yes, that's right. I was uh, the advertising manager for the Warrior newspaper, which was the base newspaper at CFB Shearwater, as well as the advertising and PR director for the Shearwater Air Show. I see. Tell me, Karen, uh, how did uh, you become involved with alumni work on the, on the national board level? Well, while I was a student here, I was uh, reasonably actively involved with the Alumni Association. Uh, actually, one of my class projects in PR 100 or something along those lines was uh, an alumni auction. And that was my first involvement. And then as I steadily progressed through the years, I had a little bit more, um, just various little things. And then when I was student union president, I made it a point to come to all the alumni board meetings and uh, talk with the alumni. I tried to give them a, a little bit of an idea of what the students were like at that given time, because a lot of the alumni on the board at that time were, I think, probably the most recent one was 10 years. Mm -hmm. And the rest were like 15 or 16 years since I graduated. I understand that at uh, that time they, there was no formal 
student liaison committee in place on the board? No, there wasn't, and we would make a concerted effort to try and have uh, myself as well as the senior class co-presidents come to these meetings and uh, continuously make an effort to sort of give the impression of what our needs were at that specific time, as well as try to figure out ways that we could uh, tap into the alumni resources to mm -hmm. benefit the students, and which ends up into a mutual benefit, really. Yeah, that's interesting. I think that um, over the last, at least the last three years, and of course it's always been an ongoing concern of the alumni, but most particularly within the last two years there has been an, a, a concerted effort to focus in on the needs of current students. And one of these, uh, these means is by having a formal student liaison committee. And as co-chairman, I understand that there are a number of interesting projects in which you get involved to uh, uh, communicate the concern of alumni for cur current students and of course to try to groom them to be active alumni when they're through. And Sheila's going to uh, give us some insight into that. I understand that you've been working with Karen and Alice on a very recent alumni student union project. Why don't you tell us a bit about it? Well, last Thursday night uh, there was a career night uh, and this was an involvement by the alumni and the student union to, um, well, perhaps I could ask Karen, what was the purpose, Karen, of Career Night as it uh, brought in the alumni uh, working with the student union? Well, uh, actually, it kind of it goes back to when we uh, were, uh, we received our degrees and, and then suddenly realized that it's a, kind of a cold world out there and wondering what am I going to do with this little piece of paper that I've worked very hard to get. And uh, at that time I was really wishing that there were some people around that I could go and talk to, alumni that had kind of gone out and, and uh, the Mount, the PR uh, degree program was fairly new so there weren't that many out there uh, at that point. So I did my own digging and whatever uh, to finally get my job. But I felt there was a need to bring back recent alumni, and when I say recent, I mean within the past five to ten years, uh, to give students a realistic view of what the work, what it's like to find a job, and a, a realistic impression of of what is needed, what the jobs entail, uh, that sort of thing. And I, and I think with using our own grads, um, they all started out here. They all have ties to the Mount, to the university. They, a lot of them know some of the professors that were in the various programs, which courses were of benefit, which ones weren't, why the, the others weren't, and the diversity of, of the degrees and, and what you can find in the workplace. So with that, uh, it was the obvious, the next obvious step was to bring those people back and set up info sessions with the various programs. And I don't think it was anything that you couldn't uh, look at it, that it was necessar more necessary in a business program or a PR program than it was in a child study program. It was something that was needed for all programs, and that's what we tried to do. And the alumni responded very positively, I understand, by being willing to come and tell of their experiences. And oh, yes, the, the alumni were, were, very, they were super. Uh, and oftentimes uh, what could have been about a 10-minute conversation ended up being half an hour, 45 minutes, check, uh, catching up on old news and finding out what's the university doing now and what, what's going on. And even the ones that couldn't make it uh, for the evening were sa said, please put my name on the list, and if you have something again, I'd very much like to come. Now, uh, Alice, perhaps you could tell us exactly what disciplines were involved in, in Career Night. Okay, we involved um, most of the disciplines that we offer here at the Mount. We had uh, education, home economics, public relations, business, um, secretarial, arts and science, just a child study, a little bit of, of everything, hoping to cover all of the graduates that we will have this spring and hoping also not only to get our, our graduates of this spring but our first year right through to the fourth year students and giving them an opportunity to to get in and see what is going on in, in the real world once you graduate from the mountain and get out there looking for a job. And, and have you had any feedback, for example, since last Thursday about how the alumni felt, those that took part in it, how did they feel it went? Just speaking with the alumni that night, we did have a, a social with coffee and donuts afterwards, and uh, I think they really, they really enjoyed it, and they really um, got a lot out of the presentations and talking with the students and getting the feedback from the students on what they expected and this type of thing as well. So they, they were very positive and very willing to come back and join us some other time.
Oh, that's great. And Karen, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about how the students reacted. Did they feel that they um, were well informed about what it's like out in the great big bad world? Uh, I found, for the most part, the alumni did a great deal of the talking, and then we would open it up to try and get the uh, students involved in it and answer some questions that they may have. Um, for the most part, um, some did ask questions and they got the type of answers, and we were trying to cover a variety of topics uh, so that each student would get an impression of what, uh, because we had a very diverse group of, of PR grads back, that uh, they got a pretty good impression of what actually is going on. And then I discovered after the session was over, which lasted about an hour, that uh, some of the students sought out some of the grads and asked them specific questions and, and things like, we went from nonprofit public relations to corporate public relations and how they could get involved with various projects and things like that. And I think what the, the, the overall impression was that uh, students uh, learned that, that uh, the alumni are out there and they're very willing to help out at any time. And that was, I think that was the biggest benefit of it all. You know, Sheila, this sounds like the sort of thing that would probably eventually lead into a, a nice connection with the mentoring program that has been uh, something that we have been establishing over the last couple of years with the alumni board. Um, what do you feel the, what do you see as the future of this type of program? What, what are your plans for next year, Alice? Well, I think that um, we have found that some of the individual departments have been putting on this type of thing um, just within their own group or their own societies. And I think perhaps next year we might look at a different focus and, and trying to tap into that and see if they are interested in some alumni support of their individual ones and, and uh, tie it more in with, with the faculty and with the program itself and, and still have the same alumni involvement in that way. So I, see. I know that the response from the alumni, again, with the mentoring uh, proposal that we put forward two years ago has been outstanding. That uh, I think current students would take great heart to learn that there are so many alumni out there willing to offer them peer counseling, uh, to offer them a safety net, more or less, to uh, give them a, a start in um, any number of areas, really, and even if it's uh, um, how to manage a career and a family, that kind of personal support that's so important. Um, we have been receiving regularly applications from alumni all over the country who are very keen to participate in a mentoring program. And in fact, right now, uh, just to, by way of an update on what's happening with mentoring, uh, we, are, we are not actively matching students with mentors right now. Uh, the fact is, is that our student services department is, is very much overextended right now. And the, it's quite a, a process to match the appropriate student with the appropriate mentor. But I think that hopefully, down the road, we're going to look at a national network of mentors, not only between student and alumni, but also among the alumni themselves, and a very effective way to provide some peer counseling and networking that's greatly needed. Um, Sheila, I'm interested to know, uh, speaking of mentors and so on, you attended the Mount at various different stages, stages in my, stages my of your development. Career of development, right. Yes, and I did. although you graduated in 1984, I know that you started at the Mount. What year did you start at the Mount in? Well, if you'd like to go back to the very beginning, I started as a, a junior in the academy in 1946. Um, I have a funny little story, if we have time, that I can tell about my return to the university. Having started in 1955 and then having to leave because of illness, I returned in 1979. And standing in the bookstore that year, I uh, was signing a check and it, they asked for my student number and when it started with 5-5, they the girl said, it. "No, the girl oh, said, are you sure that's right?" And well, I said, "Oh, yes." Uh, that's the kind of indication that we have alumni here from from uh, backgrounds of all sorts. Alumni truly in action. Thank you very much for joining me this week on the alumni special, and we'll look forward to seeing you over the coming weeks. 